Welcome back. We are now going to take the email that we just created and make it part of a sequence of automatically sent emails called autoresponders. And we can do that with any particular list that people actually join when they sign up for our page through an opt-in or through an API. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the autoresponders link and then we're going to click create new autoresponder. We're going to give our autoresponder a name that only we can see. And we indicate when the person is actually going to be sent the email. And when GetResponse says on day, for example, this says on day zero, this will actually be as soon as the visitor actually signs up for our email list. So when we create the autoresponder, we can choose what list we're creating for. And we can choose when that email is going to be sent. For example, we can choose that that email would be sent immediately when they sign up on day zero. Or we can actually do it with a delay. Or we can do it no earlier than a specific time of day. In most cases, we are going to use immediately. And we can actually have it so that this message is not going to be sent on certain days. So for example, if we know that we're not going to be there in order to give support, we may not want to have an email sent on a certain day. We may want it to only send on the days where we are going to be available or our support team is going to be available. What we're going to do now is we're either going to write or choose the message that is going to be sent to the visitors when they sign up. We can actually choose an existing message and that's what we're going to do. We're going to click choose message. And you're going to notice that there is our welcome to automated email. We're going to choose this message to become part of our auto response. Once we have that message in, we're going to click save and publish. Now, when we do this, we actually have the option of writing an email from scratch. We can actually do that. But basically what we have done now is we have created a message for a particular list for the person as soon as they sign up. So for example, if we just want to have seen the automate your email list, you notice now that this email is the only one that's actually going to be shown. If we want to create the second message in the sequence, we would go back to this button that says create new, we'd click create new here. And actually it's going to be more fitting if we call this automate day one, because what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that this email is going to appear one day after the previous one. And we can do that by clicking into the calendar box there and writing in the number one. And this basically means now that on day one, at the very same time they are signed up, they're going to actually get the first email. Now we can actually change that. We can do that with a delay of a certain period of time or we can do that exactly at a period of time. And once we actually have the email written or we have cut and pasted that email, we can then click save and publish. And now we have an email ready for the day they sign up. And then one day after they sign up, we wanted to look at this on a calendar, we could. So for example, you'll see that this will appear on the first day as soon as they sign up, and then they'll have an email to show up one day after that exactly. And we can do this as many times as we like inside of a specific list. So if we wanted to create a second day, we could do that. All we would need to do is to click the create new button. We would then decide when we want it to show up and then we can have it so that it appears same day time showed up. We'll limit it to Tuesday through Saturday as we did the others. Of course, then we'll either write our message or choose one that we have cut and paste or one that we already have and get response. Once we have that email, we'll click save and publish. And so what we have now is we have now for our automate your email list, we have emails going out on successive days as soon as the person signs up through the third day. 
And we can actually make sure that our messages go out the way that we want them using this autoresponder feature. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.